Good morning, Oxbow Creek, and welcome back to another week here in November. Boy, it's getting close to those holiday times, so it's uh, we still have five days this week. I know that that's true. The month of November, we're looking at the idea of social competence, and the word of the week this week is resistance. And when would resistance have anything to do with social competence? Well, I can think of quite a few situations. I hope you get a chance to discuss them. Uh, because in your life, you're going to need to learn how to practice resistance. There's a lot of temptation out there, and resistance can be a very powerful uh, concept for you. I've got a couple of students, student leaders, Karj and Seth, who are going to tell you a little bit more about resistance from a student perspective. Hi, my name is Seth from 5AG. Hi, my name is Karj Olson from 5AG. We're teaching about resistance for the week. For the word of the week. Hey, Karj. I'm going to go on that cool website I found at home. Stop! You need to have resistance. What does resistance mean? To resist the urge to do something bad or that could be harmful to you. Oh! Thanks. Let's get back to work. Nice job, guys. Thanks for that. I want to thank McDonald's, too. They sponsored a couple of free assemblies that our fourth graders and our second graders got to take part in. I think the fourth grade one on respect, I heard, had some really good results, um, some really good evaluations from that. In grade two, the bullying one, I think that was really good as well. Uh, calm, right? Cool down, assert yourself, look them in the eye, and mean it. Calm, that's a great way to look at that. Uh, we want to do everything we can to stomp out bullying in this school, that's for sure. I have a fun announcement that I need to make today, too. We have a student um, who's going to soon have a service dog here at school. Now, we're going to have a lot of learning around that. We're actually going to have a dog that's with her all day here at school. But this isn't just like a puppy that you want to come up and pet and say hi to and everything else. The dog's name is Buddy. But when Buddy's at school, Buddy's a working dog. Uh, Buddy's going to help Callie with her mobility, getting around the building and everything. And I'm going to have a video put together that we're going to help teach everyone here, introduce Buddy to, and then also teach you the rules around dealing with Buddy. But the main thing for you to think about right now is this isn't like the dog in first grade that we get to, Otis or Angus, who we get to read to and pet maybe and, the, and that sort of thing. No, because Buddy's a working dog, not supposed to be looking at Buddy, not supposed to be petting Buddy, talking to Buddy or anything. And so that's going to be hard because many of us love going up to dogs and he's, he's a beautiful dog. We love doing that. Our natural reaction is to want to embrace him. But when Buddy's at school, he's at work, and so that's what we all are going to learn about. But stay tuned, we'll have some more information on that next week. I also want to mention, teachers have been sent an email now, a link to a video about how to go through the serving area that is a quiet zone. We're working hard on our lunchroom, and this has to improve students, both for the speed sake so we get through quickly, and also that all the people working in the cafeteria can hear what it is that you're looking for. And Mr. Skradsky, I want to show folks this new board that we have. This is something that I'm kind of proud of. We put together this last week. We're going to have this down in front of the lunchroom. We've got our weekly lunch menu, Monday through Friday. This week we do have a full five days. And we have the two entrees, entree one and two. On Monday it's either a hot dog or the ham cheese sandwich. And you can see all the way down you've got your choices that you can be able to see. Students, I ask one thing and one big favor. I don't want you touching this board. I don't want these to move around at all. It's just Miss. Uh, Bjorkness's job to make sure that you guys know what's coming for lunch and if you couldn't remember which entree you signed up for hopefully this will be the visual reminder and so we can get through that line more quickly alright so this will start on Monday we've had a couple of classes that have had guest teachers in them and we drew a drawing because we have this substantial award again this year which is an opportunity to have little sub sandwiches as a snack for the classes that do great jobs with the uh, with the guest teachers and congratulations to 4KE, Miss Kirsten's class had just an outstanding uh, response to a guest teacher in their classroom. We'll try to do that once a month. We'll be delivering those to you um, soon. Congratulations to 4KE. Have some students to celebrate. Jaylee is our kindergartner. Come on up here, Jaylee. This girl here shows empathy and kindness to others every day. She's perceptive to others' feelings and offers to help other students without any prompts. She consistently makes good choices and encourages others to do so, too. She demonstrates self-control as a great lister and, and sets an ex amazing example for other children every single day. Congratulations, Jaylee. Keep up the good work, okay? Ms. Boynton is very proud of you. And Anika is one of our first graders in Ms. McFerrin's room. It says here that she follows the school rules of being responsible, respectful, and safe. Helps her classmates in many ways. She's a great model of what a first grader learner and friend looks like. 
Way to go, Anika. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations to you. Theodore, come on over here. Mr. Theo in 2PI is a strong link in our chain. Although he has lots of physical energy, silliness, and chatting to do, he demonstrates self-control and saves it for appropriate times. Theo is a role model for doing the right thing. He cares about every one of his classmates, and he helps them all to become better learners. Way to go, Theo. Keep up the good work, bud. Okay. All right. Ariana, one of our third graders in Miss Erickson's class. It says here, you show your wild about learning every day in 3ER. She was chosen by her classmates to receive this award. Some of their comments were, she's a nice role model for the class. She's quiet and respectful. She's so friendly, nice, always on task, always listening, always helping. She is wild about learning. She's a great role model. She's excited to learn. What nice things to have your classmates say about you. I agree with these students' comments. She is an eager learner and challenges herself academically. We love having her in 3ER. Congratulations. Continue being that leader. Miley, another third grader. Miley here shows that she is wild about learning in so many ways. First of all, she's always willing to listen and discover new ways to solve problems. She also <laughs> wants to teach others the things she has learned, which is awesome. Miley works well with others, inspires others to do their best, and for all these reasons and more, 3SC is proud to recognize Miley for truly being wild about learning. Way to Thank go, you. Miley. Yeah, you are welcome. Thank you. And Kylie, come on up. Kylie here is new to Oxbow this year, and she arrived right away as a leader. She is helpful, a hard worker, and a wonderfully positive student. So happy Kylie is part of 4KN. Keep up the great work. Congratulations and welcome to Oxbow. And Sophia, one of our fifth grade leaders, 5KO. She's a wonderful role model for her peers. She always tries her best on schoolwork, willing to help others when needed. She's very responsible for handing homework in on time, which is a very good thing for fifth graders, and filling out her planner every day. She's very quick to help clean up the room if it ever needs it. Keep up the great work, Sophia. Way to go. Thanks. Congratulations to all of them. Students, uh, it's Friday while we're taping this. It was a great Vets Day start to the day, and I know Mr. Skradsky is going to put out a, um, a tape on our YouTube channel, a video on our YouTube channel, so you can see all the veterans that we're honoring here at Oxbow. Make sure you take time to look at that and show your parents that as well. It was a, a great idea to be honoring those people that are so important to our lives. Uh, remember that the food drive starts uh, this Monday. I hope you already are bringing in food items. We've only got seven days this year, and we've got a big goal for those people who are in need, as Mr. Rose shared with us last week. So make sure, and let's have a little fun competition as well. It's always fun to see which class can win that thing. Scooter City, I want to do a big shout out and thank you to all who have contributed. The artwork down there is fantastic. Those gym teachers are thrilled, and they spent a lot of time in here on this set this Sunday getting ready for Scooter City. So have at it and have a great time in our Scooter City. Be safe, though. And with that, I think I've got jokes. Come on over here, you guys. Let's see if there are any good ones. At first, I didn't understand this one, but now I get it. Why was Cinderella such a lousy soccer player? Well, because she had a pumpkin for a coach. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I yes, get it. Pumpkin. Yes, yeah, exactly. I get it. So Maddie is a fourth grader, 4WI, four I like it. Alvin's a fifth grader, 5DE. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they crack each other up. <laughs> and you don't want cracked eggs, right? And this is from Ava in 4KN. How did the gum cross the road? It got stuck to the chicken's foot. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. That's it for this week's announcements. Everybody have a great week. We'll see you back here next week.